In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of capturing a scrolling window in Screenshot Capture using the manual scrolling method. So I'm going to hit the hotkey Control Shift Print Screen to bring up the scrolling capture selection control and I'm going to select this inner window here. Hit the right control key to select it. I'm going to choose to do a scrolling window capture. And you see now we have this rather uh, complicated dialog here. Now most of the time what you'll want to try to do with Screenshot Capture is click this first option which will actually try to um, auto scroll the contents. Let's there's our window. We'll try to auto scroll the contents of the window in various ways and try to guess the best way to do it and handle everything automatically for you. Now for Notepad actually that'll work fine but I want to show you the new manual scrolling method which can be used for more tricky windows. So I'm going to uh, either hit the two key or just click here for manually scrolling. When we manually scroll all of this is ignored. We're not doing any of this. We're just doing it manually. So we're going to hit 2, manually scroll. Then we get this dialog which is going to try to help us understand what to do. It's basically saying we're going to, the user is going to do the scrolling. Does the window have vertical, horizontal, or both? In our case it has vertical. So we click that and say next. And Now it's giving us the workflow here. It's saying start by moving this instruction window out of the way or minimizing it. Then we scroll the top of our window. Then we're going to hit the print screen hotkey, scroll down a bit, hit the print screen hotkey again, and just do that over and over again until we've captured all the contents. And then we come back here and click Done. And this little thing is telling us where in the grid we're capturing. Now I could just minimize this to the system tray. That's probably what you'd normally do here, and then bring it back up when we're done. Or we could just move it out of the way, in my case. So let's just put it here out of the way. So I go here, I do what I want, I scroll up to the top, I hit print screen, then click down, print screen, down, hit print screen key, 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 down again. I'm at the end, but I'll just hit print screen key for fun. Doesn't matter. You could do it or not. It won't make a difference. Okay, so I've done that. I've done all my scrolling. Each time I scroll down, I hit the print screen key. You can see what it said. It's at 0, 8, so that's 0 columns and 8 rows, 8 pages down. I'm going to click Done. This brings us to this uh, assembly dialog. This is the same thing you'd see if you selected the automatic method and it did its automatic scrolling. So here, it's a little hard to see because this uh, video capture is so small, but if I click 100%, you can see what's what we've got here. We've got all the different pages down. This is our first capture, our second capture, our third capture, and so on. You can say, see actually the overlap. See, see this last line, pleasure itself, because it is the last line of the page becomes the first line of the next page. That's what we call the overlap. So normally what we do here is we guess the margins, which is going to get rid of those border um, lines, which you saw there. Then we guess the overlaps. And that's this 13 is that um, line that was duplicated between the two pages. So you can see if I, if I bring this to zero, you can see that duplicate line is there. And auto-adjusting it is what gets that overlap right and that's what this guess of overlap does and um, so when it works right all you you don't have to adjust any of this you just guess the margins guess the overlap and then you're done sometimes you'll examine this and you'll see that it couldn't guess the overlaps correctly for whatever reason usually because you've got some window that's doing some funky stuff with the contents this right uh, this right margin here couldn't be guessed because it changes on each image so that's why it's not eliminated eliminated it completely this is a good example of what you if you wanted to get rid of that you could manually set this margin to get rid of it anyway there we have fully assembled we click OK and it's now saved the final image which I can now bring up here in the main screenshot capture window itself and we can take a look at it 
and see that it's captured it all perfectly. So there you go, that's the manual mode of scrolling window capture useful when you have windows that for whatever reason screenshot capture cannot automatically scroll or doesn't do a good job of automatically scrolling. Um, some good examples of that are windows where like if you had an Excel spreadsheet where scrolling down actually has no bottom it will never reach the end and there may be extra content on the page that doesn't change like a header or a footer that would confuse the program so sometimes manual scrolling is the easiest way to go